All right, so th tell me about your love of singing, about your love of song. My love of song, I mean, I just really wish that someone would let me get in the rap game, but um, apparently, you know, singing is, you know, more my area because uh, I'm terrible at rap, so, you know. Could you throw down with 50 Cent, like if there was a battle? No, I couldn't, I, I'm terrible at it, but that's doesn't stop me from dreaming. It pays to have high hopes. Yes. Um, kind of tell me about karaoke. If you, were, if I was get, let's say we're gonna get, get drunk. Who are I... all these people doing karaoke? I get the karaoke question a lot, and I don't know what's like. Do you go to karaoke a lot? Like, is it like a like a semi weekly thing? It could be. Because people ask me about it. Is that like I've done karaoke? I think twice okay. in my life. So I mean, since I was like five, you know, um, I I did it once uh, in Chicago with the crew of Happy Christmas, and then I did it once on the set of Pit Forever 2. Uh, I got drunk with Jason Jones and Adam Devine, and we sang Remix to Ignition, and um, I was super duper shrill. I have a video of it on my phone, because I was drunk, and um, so it's much more like, it's the Remix to Ignition. It's like less of a melody uh, in my rendition, but, um, yeah, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a karaoke song. Apparently, um, the one note remix to Ignition, uh, is my karaoke song. Yeah. But I, I don't know, like, I, I feel like, uh, everybody else is, is, well, at least they think that I'm going to karaoke. I just like, really want to get drunk with you is what I'm saying. Great. We could do that now, though. Like, just don't tell anybody. Um... Are we going to record an album? Are you going to be the next Beyonce? Am I going to see you on tour? Um, am I going to record an album? No. Am I going to be the next Beyonce? Maybe. Um, no, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think any, like, if I wrote music, I would do an album, but I don't, I don't write music, so, you know, there are better singers in the world who deserve to sing the songs that are being written for singers specifically. Let's talk just a little bit about your career thus far. What's kind of been the most surprising about your journey in this business from a kid till now, especially experiencing this huge explosion the past couple years? What's, what's uh, the journey? Um, I'm getting deep here, Kendrick. I know. That's, uh, I don't know, this moment. This has been great. This has been the highlight of the journey so far. Well, being what, in this, being in this really well lit room. But what surprised you about, you know, Luke and Rusty? <laughs> to surprise you about people you've met or experiences on movies? Is this everything you dreamed of? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, the work is everything I I dreamed of. The the rest of it is mostly um, highly confusing. I feel like. Uh, so I, I just did this movie where there's a dog in it, and I felt really bad for the dog because the dog was really well trained. But then when you add all these other elements in, it's like, what what's going on? You want me to like go over there and sit? Except there's like a million people screaming and running around, and like I'm just supposed to sit here as though that's not happening. So sometimes I feel like um, I didn't know that all of this was going to be a part of it. So I'm just trying to like figure out what I'm what I'm supposed to do. Um, uh, which I have a hard enough time with in like normal social situations. So this is, it's, um, you know, like, am I supposed to reach up and tap this mic? Probably not, but I just did. It's confusing. It's a confusing time. Thank you. But it's a time of exploration. Yeah, it's a time of exploration.